little largey. Did we strike first blood? We'll take him though. Got one. That's a big one. The fish don't like me in general, but when it's tournament day or derby day, they like me. There's one of the right ones right there, guys. One on fish right here. Well, there's our limit. <laughs> there's fish suspended here. How deep is it right here? Dude, that scares me. Yo, should we go in? Oh. Back to the ramp now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, clutch. There we go. They're like in piles. I don't think that's gonna call. No! That's sad. Oh, oh well. We got our money's worth out of that A rig. Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Yeah, if you saw the previous video, I think it's safe to say we officially have gotten out of our slump. Man, oh man, the last month or so has been just brutal fishing-wise for me. Prior to last trip, six out of eight trips were skunks. A lot of time on the water with little to nothing to show for it. But yeah, last video, we uh, met up with some fellas on a Saturday, did a little derby, put 50 bucks down a piece, went out and saw who could catch the three longest fish, and it was a good time to get out of the slump. Caught three nice ones, actually had five bites all day and took the W. We're back here, same body of water. And you know, the thing is today is starting out in the fifties. It's a little bit warmer today. You can see the sun's already shining, got some cloud cover. It might even hit 65 today. So it really feels like a spring day. That said, we do have some major storms coming in tonight with some wind, but we'll be off the water by then. But my point is, I think with the conditions on paper, things are setting up for a potentially really good bite. The last trip we were here, conditions were a little bit different, but it was only a couple days ago. We we're catching some big, fat, pre-spawn largemouth shallow on an A-rig. And that excites me. That excites me because that is telling me that some of these big fish are starting to move up into these coves, into these creeks, and getting ready to spawn. So given that and given the conditions today, that's our plan. Try to catch these big pre-spawn fish. Got the A-rig, of course. We got some other baits as well. I'm excited to go out fishing today since we actually had some luck and some success last time. That's today's video, a day of fishing. Probably put six or seven hours out on the water before it gets kind of nasty. So come along. And and uh, we'll see what happens. All righty, let's get started. If we gotta go A rig to start. Here we go. Let's see what these fish are doing today. <laughs> I know I talked this whole plan up like we're gonna catch fish on an A rig and they're gonna be a big large muff, but you never know what these fish will be doing. So you gotta still keep an open mind. Again, last trip was great compared to previous trips, but you know, I wasn't on fire. I had five bites all day and they were pretty much from two spots in like a 10 minute window. So it's not like this bite was just wide open. They were just catching fish after fish. We still had to work for them and cover some ground, but at least I uh, got a little start, little hint. Everything pretty much on points leading into pockets, creeks with some grass. You can see there's some grass down there in about 15 foot and that's just about the depth I was catching them last time. Now it's been such a brutal winter and finally started to poke their heads up and move a little shallower, start to feed up. I was seeing bait balls on the graph too in about 15 foot as well. So everything made sense for an A-rig bite. Alright, got bumped. Just got a bump. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. There's a bite already. When you see the casting montage, that's not a good sign for me. <laughs> Weird, it got bit pretty, pretty quick. Not another bite. Trout 
maybe. Let's see if a trout or a turd from the sky. Eagle. I think that's a bald eagle. made a pretty good run about a 30 minute run and at the other spot we caught fish in the previous video the first spot that we caught a couple did not work out got a bite but nothing after that covered some water and now we're here <laughs> i swear days that you you think you know what's going to happen just never really come to fruition there's always something a little different in this case it seems like a lot different but who knows the bite could turn on a little bit later in the day as well if we don't get bit here on the rig i think fish have changed or at least moved go offshore. They ain't shallow. They gotta be deep, right? Let me try some offshore stuff. Sure, it is. That's a big one, too. That's a big one. When you don't move them, really. Oh, golly. That's a big one. Jeez Louise, this has got to be a four or five pounder or whatever it is. That's a huge fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, baby, tank. Oh, oh man, that's a that's a belly shirt. Oh my gosh! Pre-spawn anybody? Dude, that's a pig. That is a giant. Look how thick that thing is. That, look at the gut. All right, first bite of the day. It's a good one. Thank you, mama. Well, all right. The old PB and J Ned jig. That was about what, 35 foot of water. Changed the color up just because Bam, Sean, and Alden have experience here, and they said PB and J Ned rigs or really any soft plastics and PB and J do well. So I took their advice and hey, got a fish. Okie doke. That was fun. 9:30. It took a little while to get a bite, but man, that'll help the confidence a ton right there. That'll give you that second wind, make you feel enthusiastic again. Fish. I think it's a fish. 
Oh, that one. Ah, that was a shallow one. Finally got an Avery fish. That fish was shallow. See, that's what I thought we'd be doing all day. Catching largemouth on the A-Rig, but I don't know, maybe it's a time of day thing. Spent pretty much majority of the morning doing that without a single, well, one bite, and then nothing. Went offshore for a little while, got that one giant, and nothing ever since, so decided to come up shallow, and I don't know, can't, can't decide what I want to do, fish deep or fish shallow. The fish are confusing me. It's getting a little gusty right now. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, inclement weather. How deep is it right here? Dude, that scares me. Yo, should we go in? Oh, yeah, I'm such a baby. We're gonna make a move a little bit closer to the ramp. Avoid getting trapped at one end of the lake. Always better safe than sorry. You can see these waves are starting to get a little bigger. Yeah, making a move. I think we left just in time. It's not bad, bad, but it's getting there. Nowadays, when I check the weather, or specifically the wind, I look for less than 15 and less than 15. So less than 15 mile an hour winds throughout the day is cool. So long as it's less than 15 mile an hour gusts as well. That's one thing I didn't always look at before were the gusts because 15 mile an hour winds with 15 mile an hour gusts is a lot different than 15 mile an hour winds with like 30 mile an hour gusts, obviously. But it's kind of my general rule nowadays. It's that 15 threshold for wind and gusts. And today was borderline. I think around two o'clock or so, it was 15 mile an hour winds and then the gusts were starting to get to 17 18 so i figured by that time we'd be closer to the ramp so 12 17 gonna keep going with this jig on some main lake points probably throw that a rig if we get back into some of the coves the pockets we find some grass tough day i guess two fish still have yet to find really that one zone or area that you know you can get a bite every 15 20 minutes it just doesn't seem to be how this lake operates right now Oh no! I felt the thump on that bite too. Come on. I think that was a fish too. Get it again. Get it again. Got it. He got it again. Wow, I love it when they listen to you. I don't feel as big as the first one, but it's a good one. Ooh, a brownie. Nice. That's a pretty fish. Let's get back in there. Maybe he's got some friends. That was down in about 45 foot. PB and J on a point. The funny thing too is I'm not graphing hardly anything out here. I'm not really seeing much activity on the grass. So I'm guessing some of these fish are sucked to the bottom. It's kind of a cool little area. Let's see if we can draw any fish with our other fish finder. Another month or so and they should be up on the bank. I highly doubt there's any fish on beds right now. This water's still too cold. Alarm. Alrighty, folks, three o'clock. 
and an interesting day, an interesting day for sure. As shown at the beginning of this video, the previous trip, we got out of our slump. We actually caught some fish, caught them on an A-Rig and some nice fish too. Got the dub as far as the little Saturday Derby goes. So today's plan was really to expand on that pattern or continue that pattern. Conditions were a little bit different today, a little bit warmer, storm rolling in and it's March. So I was really thinking it could get stupid good today. Well, it didn't get stupid good. All in all, it was actually pretty tough, but we launched right around 7.30 this morning. We went right to the spot where we had a couple of bites last time. And today I was thinking mainly throwing that A-Rig shallow on points leading into coves. And I think within the first 10 minutes, we got a bite, didn't hook up, thought that was a positive sign. And then you guys saw the cast montage, cast after cast after cast, nothing, move spots, cast after cast after cast, repeat, move spots, repeat. And that was the story pretty much all morning. Definitely uh, not an epic bite by any means, even though on paper I thought it would be, but we made a long run to the other side of the lake. We tried the other cove that we got bit on in the previous video and nothing, nothing shallow, nothing on the A-Rig. We threw some other baits too, so I decided to move offshore, fish a little bit deeper. We picked up the Ned Jig in PB&J. Shout out to the guys for giving me that hint last time. Was working some offshore islands, some humps, and anywhere from 25 to 30 foot, and I'd say within 15, 20 minutes, made the cast. Let that jig fall, just dragging it downhill. I'd say it probably got bit in about 20, 25 foot. Felt that tick, set the hook. You just know when it's a quality fish, when it's a really big one, when you set into that hook and you just feel like you're stuck, that's a good thing. So fighting that fish, fighting that fish. Didn't even know if it was a bass. It was fighting so hard. I thought maybe it was a catfish or something like that, but we got it up, got it in the net. Oh man, talk about a pre-spawn fatso. That largemouth wasn't the longest fish in the world, maybe 21 inches or so, but the girth on that thing, holy smokes. That thing was a tank. That was what they call having shoulders. So we got that fish in the boat, worked that jig for probably another 30, 45 minutes and not another bite. <sighs> kind of strange, I thought for sure we may have found something at that point, but it just wasn't meant to be. So we moved back into that cove, the sun poked out, casted that A-Rig again, and got bit randomly in like five foot. Small largemouth, but another fish which i will certainly take at this point wind did start to pick up like i said when the wind start to get past 15 gusts start to get past 15 that's kind of my cue to find some safer water so we made the long run back towards the ramp protected area that uh, if things got really sketchy we could get away pretty quick kept that jig in the hand fished it offshore deep got a bite missed it saw the fish on the graph that fish bit again set the hook reeled her up a nice brown one so fish number three and after that pretty much nothing we may have had one more bite on the A-Rig, not exactly sure, but we tried everything. We tried shallow, we tried deep, we tried fishing main lake points, we went into the pockets, just nothing at all. So glad we got some fish today, really happy with that big fish of the year so far. But other than that, a really uh, stingy day on, again, what I thought would be a pretty epic day of fishing. Hey, three fish, survived the win, I will take it. Got a few days of non-fishing coming up for me. And then Yakabass event number two at Folsom Lake. Gonna get together, of course, with the fellas, the crew. I think we'll probably do a pre-tournament derby. I got a lot of positive feedback on that last one from Orville, so I'm pretty sure we'll do it again. I know those guys want to do it again. They really don't like me having that trophy. So next video should be the pre-tournament derby and then Yakabass event number two on Folsom Lake. Those are the videos to come, but as always, thank you guys for watching, for coming along, and I'll see you guys in the next one.